parts of a typical angiospermic plant. In angiosperms, the plant body has two main systems. They are root system and shoot system. Root system. Root system grows normally into the soil in positively geotropic manner. It is developed from the radical of the embryonal axis. It is generally non-chlorophyllous and brown colored. In dicots, radical is developed into taproot which in turn produces lateral roots in a carpetal succession. The lateral roots bear rootlets and minute root hairs which help in absorption of water. This system is called taproot system. In monocots, primary root is short-lived. Soon after its disintegration, many long identical roots develop at the base of the stem. These roots are called fibrous roots. This root system is called fibrous root system or adventitious root system. The appendages of the root develop endogenously. At the apices of taproot and lateral roots, a protective sheath called root cap is present. Root system mainly helps in fixation of the plant, absorption and conduction of water and minerals. Shoot system. Shoot system is the main axis of the plant that grows aerially in positively phototropic manner. Shoot system consists of main axis called the stem, which is divided into nodes and internodes. Leaves are developed on the stem at the place of nodes. The upper angle between the leaf and the stem is called axle. The axle bears axillary buds. The axillary bud produces branches. At the tip of the main stem and branches, terminal buds are present. They maintain their vertical growth. The leaf is dorsoventrally flattened, green colored and vegetative lateral appendage of the stem. Its main purpose is photosynthesis and transpiration. Leaf has four parts. 1. Leaf base. 2. Stipule. 3. Petiole. And 4. Lamina. The lamina contains a mid-vein producing lateral veins and veinlets. The arrangement of veins and veinlets in the lamina is called venation. In dicots, the venation is called reticulate, whereas in monocots, it is called parallel venation. Flower is a sexually reproducing organ of the stem. It develops from either axillary bud or from the terminal bud. Many famous scientists described flower as a modified stem. The stalk of the flower is called pedicel. The condensed tip of the pedicel is called thalamus. Thalamus bears floral leaves, organs like calyx, corolla, andresium, and gynesium in definite worlds. Calyx and corolla are called non-essential organs. Andresium and gynesium are called essential organs because they are meant for reproduction. Fruits and seeds are developed from the ovary after pollination and fertilization. The seeds on germination produce plants of next generation. Summary The plant body has two main systems. 1. Root system 2. Shoot system Root system In dicots, 
taproot system and in monocots, fibrous root system. Shoot system. Main axis of shoot system is stem. Stem consists of nodes and internodes. Other appendages are leaves, buds, branches, flowers and fruits. Leaves. Monocot leaves and dicot leaves. The main difference between monocots and dicots is venation. Buds. Terminal bud and axillary bud. Flowers. Parts of a flower, fruits and seeds. Long answer questions. 1. Describe in brief about all parts of a typical angiospermic plant with clear diagrams. 2. Explain about all plant parts and their purpose with clear diagrams. This module is an introductory module, so you may not get long answer questions from it, but you can expect different types of short answer questions and bits. Short answer questions. 1. Write about taproot system. 2. Write about fibrous root system. 3. List out vegetative appendages of shoot system and their key purpose. 4. What is the reproductive organ in shoot system and write in brief about it? Like this you can expect different types of short answer questions. Thank you.